more. Hmm. Just passing through, or you've been here a while? Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Now, I'm not sure why you'd go anywhere after finding this place. Just passing through, going north. Whole lot of people headed that way lately. Me, I don't get it. There's just as much nothing up there as there is down here. Who have you met going north? Oh, hell, a lot of folks. Anyone named Krista? No, not that I can recall. Is she a friend of yours? Where does this go? Oh, I'll take it. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> well, it's a real nice place. Kind of cozy. I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug, son of a bitch. What's his name? Carlos. Well, well. White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? None of your business. I thought you said nobody's here. It's probably just the wind. Oh shit, I lied. <laughs> oh yeah, I say it's probably. I say probably. Okay, don't judge me. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. Who's this? Uh-oh. Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? They're my friends. Let me ask you this. When you met them, how much did they trust you? This way I start talking rubbish. You did, huh? You sure about that? <laughs> Clementine's all ladies. <laughs> well, I think I've troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Don't come back. <laughs> you have a real good day now. <laughs> He's gone. What if he comes back? We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Sarah. Yeah, they told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. I didn't open the door. He just came in. She's telling the truth. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. I didn't ask his name. You didn't ask his name? How could you not ask his name? He had a gun. I didn't want to make him mad. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. What was he wearing? Did he sound different? 
He had a mustache. Like mine, or more like Alvin's? Um, it was droopy. He talked about you, Dad. You're not gonna hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Right, your dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not gonna do anything crazy, or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? He hmm? saw a picture of me. A picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. All right, you're scaring your daughter. You told me to distract her. Distract? Uh-oh. Uh -oh. So I'm just an idiot? Uh-oh. I thought we were friends. He was scouting. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. What's the problem? Wait. We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. I knew he was Carver. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? Now it's time yeah. for the truth. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. Now you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. Hey, Clem. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. I still don't like what you did. Sneaking around on us and taking advantage of my husband. But I know you were in a tough spot. Why is Carver after you? After me? Oh, you mean us. <laughs> it's a long story. He... He has a hard time letting go. I want to know the story, man. I know man. you did your best back there. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. I'm not used to that. I'm not comfortable with that. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him, if that man gets his wish. God help me. Any ideas? Clem? <laughs> Time for the moment of truth. To find out he's a zombie. There. That's where we were. He's not in here. This was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. Doesn't make sense. Keep your eyes open and stay in sight. Doesn't Clementine know that he's being beaten? He survived. Anyone see him? Uh oh. Uncle Pete! Oh god. Behind you! Oh shit. <laughs> Take that, man. Headshot. <laughs> <laughs> 